All right, let's begin trade-offs. When choices are made to accept having Hi. less of one thing in order to get more of something else, the results are called a trade-off. Basically, a trade-off are what you choose not to have. A trade-off is what you choose not to have. It does not just involve money. It can involve money. I go to the store. We talked about this already in the last unit for review. I got seven eighty-seven in my pocket with my loose change in my jacket. I can go to Subway, McDonald's, or Tacos Panera, and I got to make a decision. If I'm going to Tacos Panera, if they got the torta special, that's the best day to go. Tuesday, I believe, right? Yeah, Tuesday. All right, Tuesday tortas. Anyway, so if I go on Tuesday, that means I'm giving up McDonald's. I'm giving up Subway. There are my trade-offs. If McDonald's was my next choice, what's that called? Uh, opportunity, cost. opportunity cost. Good, you guys are ahead. And not just money, it could involve a Saturday night. Saturday night comes by, and you have a big, huge economics test coming up. You have options to do. You could either study, or you could go to the big event that Aqua's having downtown. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you at some point have made this decision in the past? Raise your hand. Or something like it. Yeah, I guess teachers should be against that. All right, so now society also has to make trade offs. You're going to make a trade off. I choose this one, I don't get this one. If I choose this one, I don't get this one. I get the benefits that go with this one, maybe a better score, but it cost me this. Does that make sense? If I go to this, may cost me a good score, but maybe I'll have a good time, and maybe I'll, and I'll meet somebody or something. Anyway, <laughs> does that make sense? So there are costs and benefits to both. Now, it could also have to do with um, uh, society. If we decide to spend money to build a school, there's a trade-off. Whatever else we could have done with that money. If we build a school, maybe we can't build a hospital now as a government. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Companies have to do this all the time too. If Apple decides to put tons of money into their smartphones, maybe they're not going to put as much money into their laptops or their desktop computers, which are almost a thing of the past now. Does that make sense? You make trade-offs. Pretty soon we'll say, remember desktop computers? <laughs> all right, so trade-off. Let's keep going here. Let's say you are going out this Friday night Actually, let's do this on your own to start off. Make a list of the five things that you can do. You may do that right now. On your sheet of paper. <laughs> yep, underneath the notes. <laughs> write them down. I want you to write them down the notes. It'll make perfect sense in your notes. Say, my Friday night. And then put a list of the five things you could do this Friday night. You may write them down. Ooh. Go ahead. Is this like? All right, so let's look at trade-off and opportunity cost with another example. Okay, I'm sorry, but this guy, I don't know what's his deal. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we got the bachelor and the bachelorette. What are they doing in the show, pretty much? They fighting for love. How do we explain the um, uh, bachelor or the bachelorette in economic terms? Stupid. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not worth our time. <laughs> it should be a trade-off, or their show is on TV is the first thing I'll say. But, um, uh... <laughs> What I would say is, so here we got um, uh, this girl, and you got all these guys, okay? Um, so she's going to do what? She's going to choose one of them. She'll probably have a opportunity cost, a moment at the end where she picks one and doesn't take the other one. And all the other guys, and please, for the love of God, let him be one of them, will be the... One. Trade, no, trade off. <laughs> this, the shirtless man should be a trade off, trust me. Don't ever trust the shirtless man. What's the shirtless, shirtless woman? There's no shirtless woman, is there? Oh, she is? <laughs> is, she, is that her? No, no, I don't think there's any naked women there, sorry. The All right, let's keep going here. <laughs> All right, so same thing with the bachelor. This guy is going to pick someone. That's going to be his choice. He will have an opportunity cost, and everyone else will be there. Trade the trade-off. Does that make sense? Here is basically in economic terms again. A trade-off is when you use your resources 
in one way instead of others. Opportunity cost is the value of the next best use of your resources. And you want to think of it as plan B? Sure, plan B. Trade-off is plan B, C, D, E, and F. All right? If you feel like you need to copy that word for word, you can do it. However, at this point, you've probably written these terms down how many times at least? Three or four. So I'm going to give you about 40 seconds to get that down. If you are listening to this at home, you probably can skip this part. I can't put it back up there because the block in view. Oh yeah, can I can freeze the screen? Yeah, huh. Continuing. What is utility? Now our next term is going to be utility. Did I get that right? Yep. Utility. In economics, the value or enjoyment you get from a decision. This is also very important. This goes with the benefits. Utility is very similar to the benefits that you get. An example which has higher utility. Eating McDonald's or a school lunch? Uh, not a trick question. <laughs> what do you get actual uh, more utility out of? Well, since I'm recording this and I can't use names, let's go unnamed student here sitting in front. Which gives you a higher utility? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tough decision? <laughs> okay, so you're, you're, you think they're both bad. So you don't hear like McDonald's? So does that get which one? Trick question. Which gives you higher utility? Oh, it's right there. Breaking my heart here, Mr. Foro. Come on. <laughs> which gives you higher utility? Eating McDonald's or school lunch? Warming chickens. It is enjoyment. So utility pretty much means the enjoyment you get. So, so when we use the term maximize your utility, you want to maximize the value or enjoyment of your decisions. So it looks like four big chickens versus four undone meatballs with the little care thing. Yeah, which one's going to give you more utility? <laughs> um, the school lunch give me more utility. All right, then we'll keep it that way. All right, um, I might actually go school lunch for one reason. You don't have to pay I also see value is up there. I'm like, I might want to keep my four bucks. I, I want to live. Maybe <laughs> I want to keep my four bucks because it's not worth it. Or maybe I think, you know what? Spending the enjoyment I get from McDonald's overrides the lunch I get at school. Yeah. Does that make sense? Even though it's free. It's not free. It's not free, though, is it? Oh, free for me, but there is no free lunch. So somebody paid for it. What do you think it means when something has zero utility? You don't like no, value. no value. It has how much value? No value. No, value. no value. Can you have negative utility? Yes. No. Yes. I don't know. Let me ask this question. How many of you have had dates with negative utility? Me. <laughs> has anyone ever gone out on a date and you were like, well, that was a complete waste of my time? Oh. <laughs> I would say that date has negative Utility, does that make sense? Let's keep going. Oh. All right, maximizing utility. We'll start this, and when are they gonna make us leave? Um, ah, crap. All right, um, yeah, we have to leave in like one minute. So let's write this down, and we'll get a start. What's the focus of tomorrow's class going to be on? Maximizing utility and rational decision-making. You may write this down. I'm going to pause the lecture here, okay, people?